Hey guys, this morning's a busy morning. I'm bringing the lizard to the vet today. So I was in such a hurry to get out of the house this morning, I totally almost forgot to even bring the lizard. Having a toddler will do that to you. So here's Sheila. She's been acting a little bit funny and not eating for me and just being a weirdo. So I'm getting her a nice little checkup. She's awfully comfy here in my jacket. Can you say lizard? <coughs> Is that lizard? Hi. I'll snug her back up to where it's nice and warm. There we go. Sheila's getting an x-ray, so now I have this little creature on the table. Don't press that button. I know you want to, but don't do it. Sheila got an x-ray and um, I'm gonna hear tomorrow from a specialist about what the enlargement is that they see. Maybe it's eggs, I hope. I'm pretty new to beardies, I have no idea. This chihuahua is restoring yeah. my faith in chihuahuas. There you go. <laughs> Nugget is officially the nicest chihuahua I have ever met in my life. <laughs> Aren't you? Yeah, you're a good chihuahua, huh? Oh yeah. Look at this very Give nice. Give a kiss. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Look, <laughs> Nugget kisses. <laughs> Give kisses. What you think? All of Sheila's signs looked really good. Like it didn't seem like there was obviously anything wrong with her. Her tank parameters were good. Everything was good. She was acting just fine. But she had a little enlargement, which I hope is just eggs. It's just she hasn't eaten for three weeks. And I was really concerned. So in case I didn't explain it well earlier, I was a little distracted by my two-year-old at the vet office. Oh my gosh. She was more of an animal than the animals were animals. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> I found you. <laughs> wow, Riley, you're on the puppy. <laughs> Riley. That's a dog dish. Maybe that's how I should start feeding you. Yeah? Oh geez. So just to reiterate, I brought Sheila to the vet because she hadn't eaten in a really long time and she was acting like a weirdo. She didn't eat for about three weeks and I just thought she was off bugs and that she was eating her salads I, I made her, but, but what I think was actually happening was she wasn't touching the salads and the salads were just wilting from the heat in her terrarium. So once I figured that out, we went to the vet for a little checkup. I thought that I wasn't taking care of her right. I thought that I was doing something wrong and that's why she wasn't eating and that's why she was acting weird and glass dancing and acting erratic. And I thought, oh, maybe she has eggs. So I'd give her a dig box and she wouldn't, she wouldn't do anything in the dig box and I was getting worried. So I decided to bring her to the vet. So after explaining my tank setup and my parameters of the tank, uh, the vet thinks I'm doing everything just fine and was a little puzzled why Sheila was acting so weird and not eating for me. So we got some x-rays. The x-rays did show some stuff in her belly that looked kind of like eggs, but the vet wanted a second opinion. So Sheila got a vitamin B complex shot, I think that's what it was, and also I have a liquid calcium supplement because those eggs hadn't been calcified yet and now I'm just doing that and I'm trying to get her to eat. Sheila's also getting a dig box every day, so wish me luck. Hey Sheila, say hi. Hi. Not you, Riley, I'm talking to Sheila. So she got a clean bill of health. That makes me feel very good that I maybe I am taking care of her just perfectly and she's just having egg issues. Sheila is a very beautiful lizard aren't you honey? But I'm going to admit guys that I'm starting to have second thoughts about having a bearded dragon. I feel like maybe beardies weren't the right choice for me. Don't get me wrong, I like Sheila. I like her, I think she's gorgeous, but between my toddler and my dogs and my fish, I feel like maybe I shouldn't have gotten such a personable and hands-on type reptile. So I'm starting to have thoughts of finding Sheila a new home, which is kind of weird for me because I'm a believer in that if you take an animal in, you should try your best to keep that animal and give them an amazing home for their entire life because you've inherited that responsibility. 
by accepting an animal into your family. But at what point does it become a good idea to find an animal a new home? I feel like I'm not paying enough attention to her. I feel like dividing my time between the baby and my fish room and my dogs and the lizard is a little bit too much. And if I wanted a lizard, I should have gotten a more hands-off lizard. What do you think, Sheila? I'm not fully decided yet on whether or not I'm going to find her a new home, but I'm thinking about it. I so what do you guys think? Am I justified in thinking these things? Or am I just a terrible person? If I could go back in time, I would probably choose a different reptile, like a gecko or something. At the end of this video, I'm ending on a beardy note. I'm putting footage from when I first kind of had Sheila. I thought it'd be a fun little throwback and some bearded dragon eye candy. Thanks for watching guys. Thanks for watching my daily video challenge. I appreciate all your support. So be sure to like and subscribe and have a great day. What's up Sheila? Oh hey, how's it going? My husband walked into our local pet store one day to grab something and Sheila was there. Somebody had surrendered her at the pet store. They just, they didn't have the time to care for her anymore and my husband saw her and knew that I dearly, dearly wanted a bearded dragon. I've been wanting a bearded dragon for so long and I think my husband just got really sick of me telling him that all the time. Oh, it'd be so cool if I had a bearded dragon. Oh, it'd be so cool to have a beard. So he surprised me with Sheila. Sheila's beautiful. She's really nice, she's really tame and calm. We don't go outside very much, so she might be a little bit nervous about being outside. But she's a pretty dang good bearded dragon. She's a lot better behaved than my dogs. I've had her for a while now, but I haven't uh, shown her yet. I haven't made a YouTube video about her yet. I think it's pretty obvious that I need to make her a tiny little hat to wear. It's obvious. I don't think Sheila's very comfortable about being outside. She's starting to puff up a little bit at me. So we're going to go back inside. She's gonna go back on her little happy rock.